careful with with COVID going on and these guys are native to the United States they're native right here in Arizona so a lot of people have smelled skunks not everyone has seen a skunk this but a lot has. of people smell them and I, I was always told one little fun fact that uh, when you smell a skunk when you're on the road it's not always a car that like it's been hit by a car a lot of times the owl is responsible for that smell which is the number one predator of a skunk that's oh. right. Yeah, they don't have usable smell, so that's why they're able to go after those skunks. A lot of animals are deterred by the chemical that they have that they're so well known for. I like that term deterring because you feel like it when they spray. Um, I, I would say advice to male skunks out there. Um, you don't you never want to be an ass man with a skunk. You want the front, right? I, I'll leave that up and then um, the vision. <laughs> yeah, their vision's not that great. So skunks can only see about 10 feet. However, they are very precise when they are spraying their chemical. They can hit targets up to 10 feet away and they typically go for the eyes and it's very acidic and definitely isn't gonna feel too good if you get it in the eyes. And because they have poor vision is why they end up on the side of the road so often. But a common misconception is that they're going around spraying everything every time they get scared, but they're not. They actually reserve that as a last resort because it can take several days for them to rebuild up that chemical. They only have about 10 to 15 cc's, so they give you a lot of warning before they spray. They'll stomp their feet. Some species will actually do handstands. But yeah, the don't they bow up a little bit? Kind mm -hmm. of like that? I've seen that. Yeah, they'll want to look as big and scary as possible and as noisy as possible. And then if that doesn't work, then they resort to spraying. So what you're saying is their, their two eyes are not real good, but their brown eye is deadly accurate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of what I'm <laughs> they're, they're really oh, good when, yeah, using their scent glands. <laughs> so these guys are known also, not only for their smell, but they're striking stripes that they have. I think Pepe Le Pew is a very famous skunk oh, that a lot best. of people are very familiar with. But a cool fact about their stripes, that their stripes are as unique to that individual skunk as fingerprints are to us. So no two skunks have the same stripe unless they're identical twins. <laughs> How cute Didn't is that? Didn't know that. Super interesting. How long do the claws get for you? We don't trim her, she keeps hers the proper length, so that's about as long as they're going to get, as long as they're taking care of them themselves. They're excellent diggers. They can dig holes no problem. And in fact, uh, sometimes they will dig through their furniture as well. So she has a little bed, but we had to take the cushion out because she dug right through it and destroyed it in just one night. She needs a new bed on her Everybody. 